Today we're gonna try to discuss something very very simple and very very basic the importance of smiling to people and to being positive in life many of us are going with negative thoughts and pressure that we're experiencing and we're not paying enough attention to the energy that we are sharing with the world with the negative faces that we're sharing with our loved ones that we might seem upset and we might seem sad and even if we really feel that inner pressure and stress inside if we would just understand how easily people who depend on us can be hurt by seeing us so broken we would put a little bit more effort in revealing the light of our soul and sharing more of our hope instead of being sad and depressed and going with our face down to the ground and broken the power of our face is so great the light that is shining out from our faces has such a great effect on others and in the holy language of Hebrew it's called He'arat Panim illumination of the face and when our faces are illuminating so people will be filled with joy when seeing us around when we will talk to them our words will mean so much to them and when all the faces or more and more faces maybe it's better to say will smile to each other and will greet each other with peace it will affect the higher and spiritual branches of the divine faces of the Creator because the Creator himself has a face and the face is the way that he presents himself to us and when we are smiling and we are shining we are pulling those branches of the holy long and noble ancient face of the Creator to shine upon us as well because the world is a reflection and that reflection works on both sides so when we smile and when we're happy and when we are expressing the good qualities of our spirit and soul by that we are pulling a huge illumination from above to heal and to bless and to support everyone in need and everyone that depends in the divine face of the Creator like those people who depends on you like your family like your friends like people that walks in front of you in the street when they see that you're upset that you are sad that you're broken immediately it will affect them in a negative way immediately they will feel rejected they will feel like something is wrong and they might just fall into the same similar sadness that you are at because of that attachment that just took place when your faces crossed each other in the street but when you will smile you will plant a seed of hope in their hearts and if you will say a good word of hope of faith you will uplift them from their place to a higher place to a higher level of understanding of the true goodness that is available for them to reach and to enjoy from in this world when people looked at Moses when he came down from Mount Sinai they could not stare his face they could not look at his face because the light of the Shekhinah the Spirit of God was shining in such bright light out from his face 
that people could not look at him anymore. And when they tried to look to his direction, they saw only a huge ball of light. Sparks of light were shining, beams of light were rising out of his face, and people saw the light of God. And this is why Moses is being called Moshe Ish HaElokim, Moshe, the man of God, because your soul is a godly soul. And when you allow your soul to shine, so people cannot see your face anymore. People cannot see your physical form and body. They see your soul. And when they see your soul, they see the godly soul of yours means a beam of light of the Creator Himself. So basically they see God. When they look at you and you're busy and surrounded with physicality, they see your body, they see your physicality, they see your color, they see your shape, they see your height, they see and hear what you say, the words, they hear the sounds and the voices that are coming out of your mouth. But when you are overpowering your body with the light of your soul and you let your soul shine in that time when people look at you and listens to you they accept your intention and your divine light that is shining through your mouth and through your eyes and through your actions and through your thoughts and people will experience godliness in a new form and in a higher level than they were able to before. And this is the power of the true servant of the Creator, that He delivers light, spiritual light, hidden light that is available for those who are seeking for Him with truth. And we are those truth seekers, and we should believe in ourselves that we have the message and the news and the ability to deliver the truth to all society, to all nations, to all people, to the whole wide world. It's in our power to illuminate the world and to shine the godly light out to the world that it will be available for every one, for every soul, that there will be no soul left behind without the ability to reach and to connect and to attach itself to that endless, beautiful, eternal light of the Creator. And He, the Blessed One, is choosing us to let His light go through us, to be channeled to His children's life through our speeches and our work and our actions. And you should choose yourself to channel the light of the Creator out to the world and to make everyone around you happier, with more confidence, with deeper understandings about life and to increase the passion and desire for life in the hearts of your surroundings. It depends in your own joy, in your own hope that you will shine and that you will express while talking and meeting and speaking and shaking hands and hugging your friends and loved ones. It's in our power to change the world and to shift and rise it to a higher level of inner awareness to the godliness that is treasured within. And it's in our power to make great changes in the world based on our own positive mindset and hope that will be expressed through our own actions and deeds. May the Creator give us the power and the energy to believe in ourselves, to believe in ourselves that the Creator Himself, He believes in us, to believe in ourselves that we are important to Him, to believe in ourselves that we have a role and a job and a purpose for our lives, and to go and distribute this light of faith between thousands on thousands of people that we meet on daily basis, and to go and to spread the light of love and truth and justice between all our loved ones. And may the blessing hover upon us and upon all our loved ones. Amen. Can you hear that song?